Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Sumit Bakshi. Today I have come up with another important tutorial in SPSS. That is how to create graphs in SPSS. So this is fictitious data of 20 students which includes both male and female. This is first column is serial number, second column is gender, third column is score of students in a specific test and fourth column is their favorite subject out of reading, mathematics and science. Now if I want to create graph, I need to click this graphs here. You can see options here. You can draw graphs by taking any of the option but the most common option is chart builder. Then click this chart builder here. Now in this chart builder option, you can see variables here, variables of your data and there are different options of your graphs. You can draw bar graph, line, area, pie chart, scatter plot, histogram. You can draw any graph out of these. So let's create bar graph first. Click this bar graph here. In bar graph itself, you can see there are many options. And you can even read their names. This is simple bar. This is clustered bar. This is tagged bar. This is simple 3D bar. I can create any bar graph out of these. Let's create simple bar graph. I have two options. Either I can drag this bar to here in this empty box or just double click it. Double click this simple bar graph and it is here in this empty box. Now next step is I need to move my variable to x axis and y axis. Let's move gender to x-axis. Just drag this gender to x-axis. And I want to compare scores of gender. So then scores in y-axis. Now it is mean score. I can even find out any other thing, median, group, median, mode by clicking here. So this is mean score. I want to compare mean scores of gender. Now it is just click OK. In the output window, you will see this bar graph. In the x-axis, it is gender, female and male. On the y-axis, it is a mean score. Now, you can change, uh, modify or edit this bar graph by double clicking it. Just double click this bar graph and now you can modify. There are many options to modify this bar graph. You can even read what you can change in this bar graph by taking the cursor over here. You can transpose chart coordinate system. That means you can reverse the axis. Now the axis are reversed. The moment I clicked it, I can even undo my action by clicking here. Now many other things which I can do here is just take the cursor to it, show drive axis, show grid lines, insert a footnote, insert a text box, insert title. So these all are the options which I can change. I can rescale my chart, select y-axis, select x-axis. So all these are the options which I can change. Let's say I want to add a title. So here it is a title. I can add my title. It is gender wise score. So this title is added. Close it. The other option is I can add interpolation line here by clicking it. Now this line is added. So I can undo it by clicking here. Also, I can show my data by clicking here. Now data is visible here. Mean score of female is 42 and male is 39. When I click there, my data is visible. If I again click here, the data will be invisible now. Also, I can change the colors by clicking here. I can change the color of bars also. I can even change the color of this box or even border. I can change the color. I can change the pattern from here. If I click this female bar, I can now change the color. Let's say I have chosen this color and then apply. Now color is changed. I can even change the background color. Click this box. And then you can choose any of the color. Let's say I've chosen this yellow color and then apply. I can even change the border or pattern. Click this bar again. And then you can change the pattern by selecting any of the pattern out of these. Let's select this. 
and then apply. Now the pattern is changed. This way I can change colors, patterns, border lines, border color or style even I can change from here. So there are many options. You can create your bar graph with your own creativity. When I will close it, I will see the changes, all the changes I made in this bar graph in my output window. Now you can see in output window, this bar graph, the changes which I made is visible here. So this was bar graph. Now let's again go to graphs, chart builder. This time I want to create pie graph. Let's reset it and then take this pie graph to this empty box. Now I want to take subject to x axis and to the y axis count. Then OK. This is my pie graph now. Again, I can edit this pie graph. Just double click it. And there are the options to edit this pie graph. Again, these are the same options. I can enter the data here. Now, this is percentage it is showing. I can even move subject here and count also. Whatever I want, I can move here or replace from here. If I will apply it, it will show all the three things, percentage, subject and count. That means seven students chose science as subject, favorite subject, four students chose reading as favorite subject, and nine students chose mathematics as favorite subject. And the percentages out of 20 students, 35 students chose science, 20% students chose reading, and 45% chose mathematics. So this way you can show data in your graph also. Also, you can change the colors from here as I discussed previous. Close it. There's another option to divide the parts of this graph. If I click it, the parts are divided. So I can divide these parts. I can even change the colors of these parts. Just click here and now you can change the colors of these parts or any pattern you can change, anything you can change. Click here. If I want to change this reading part, click here on the reading. Now you can change the color. You can change the pattern. Or even border you can change. Apply. This is changed now. So this way you can create your own pie graph with your own creativity. You can change the background color also. This box I want to change. I'll just take this color and then apply. So this way you can change your pie graph, edit your pie graph. Then close it. The changes which I made is visible in my output window. In the same way, again go to graphs, chart builder. This time if I want to draw scatter plot, choose scatter first, reset it, then choose scatter. Again, these are the different options of scatter plot. I will choose this simple scatter. Double click it. I want to take gender to x axis. And then again, scores to y axis. And then OK. So this is my scatter plot here. Again, I can edit this scatter plot. Double click it. Options are almost same. These are the options. I can change even the colors of these scatters from here. So all the way I can change the same thing. Close it. This way you can draw any other graph also. Reset it. Let's say another important graph which you need to draw is histogram. Histogram. These are the options in histogram. Let's create this histogram, double click it. Now in this histogram, I want to take scores to my x-axis and to y-axis the count. Then OK. Now this time, this is my histogram, double click it. I can again edit all the same options here. Here I can, in this option, just click here. I can draw the curve, normal curve, uniform curve. These are the options which I can draw. 
I have clicked this normal, then this normal curve is now shown. I can change the color of these bars also. Because I have chosen the normal curve, this normal is showing here. It is also showing mean, standard deviation and n. If I close it, you can see in my output window, now this normal curve is visible. So this way you can edit or modify your charts and you can create all these charts by going this graph option. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you. Stay connected. And if you want me to cover any other topic, let me know. Thank you.